Last spring, Dowell Middle School received the Intel School of Distinction Award in recognition of their achievements in math. It's an honor they humbly accepted, although they were not surprised their school was chosen. The great thing is, is that it was not something that you are seeking money for a certain reason. You're saying, let's evaluate our math program. And they said, oh yeah, that's a great, great school with great things going on. So yes, it's worthy of $5,000. It's not about teaching the skills that we know just for the day. We're actually trying to develop problem solvers. So our teachers um, are not using te uh, technology just to be a paperless classroom. Uh, they're using technology to, to create innovative thinkers. One of those innovative uses of technology involves sophisticated data collection through the use of a calculator. But what should you know here? A negative times a negative is a positive. I have the TI Navigator system where the students actually plug in their calculators and they log on as themselves. And then throughout the lesson, I'll have them type in their answers and send them to me. And then I can instantly see like if the whole class got it right or if they didn't. And it, then I can also check and see which students missed the question. And then what I normally do is I'll walk around to a couple other students first and then I'll go to the ones who got it wrong and check on them and see how they're doing. I think it's easier that the teacher can understand who's not understanding what's going on and it helps us learn because we're able to send in the answers and not have the answer like blurted out and not be able to learn it properly. Does that seem like easiest? Yeah, so straight up dividing. The math department at Dowell recognizes the importance of interpersonal learning too. With the collaborative lear learning in the workplace, most of the time now, you're not an island. You are working more with groups. You are put in different teams for different projects at your workplace. Where at school, we do that also. We put them in different teams and different groups to learn to work together and cooperate to get a finished product so that they're learning how to work with each other to the best of their ability. Also on the list of creative ways to teach math at Dow, the flipped classroom. We film our lectures that we would normally stand in front of the class and, and give to five classes a day. We film those lectures and place them on the internet. That way that the kids, when they go home, they can listen to the lecture, get the notes, and then when they come into class the next day, they kind of have an idea of either they understand the content and they're ready to you know, proceed and go somewhere else, or they didn't understand it and they need help, or they're kind of, you know, they get it, but they just need more practice. Um, it's not like you have to disrupt the class and you have to ask the teacher to repeat it, you can just easily do it at home. And the videos are like seven to 10 minutes. So it's not like it takes like 30 minutes to do like 10 to 20 problems. And also like for tests, like the big tests, you can always go back and watch the videos because they're always there. That was our problem. You give someone information the first time, especially kids, they're not gonna retain it right there. They have to hear it multiple times in multiple ways and practice. I think it's helping to just solidify and give them something tangible that they can go back to that's not even just notes, but like physically listening to the teacher give them information. It's much easier, much more innovative. I like technology, so it makes it a lot more fun. We hope and we know that we're doing a good job of uh, developing the minds of the next generation by just pushing their thinking. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with uh, use of technology in the classroom. If you want to keep them engaged and interested, you have to use technology. Any way that they can, where it doesn't seem like they're working. <laughs> so if it doesn't look like they're working and they're doing what they need to do, then they think it's fun. Like, oh, this is cool. So welcome to our introduction to proportions video. Times negative two squared, you have to use it in parentheses. 